Here it is, folks. Stoner Trim Shine. What is it and why do you need it? Good sunny morning. Short sleeves, late April in Utah, I'm not gonna complain. I wanna to talk to you, by the way, I'm Nick from Hawk Pro Detailing, good morning. Uh, I wanna to talk to you about Stoner Trim Shine. This is uh, from Stoner Car Care since 1942. A lot of you guys may know about this product, but let me tell you, if you don't, it's a must have in my detailing arsenal. So here is my, yes, my dirty work truck. Um, it's a beautiful sunny morning here in Utah, but let's just kind of go for this area and see what we can wipe down, right? We can just wipe it down. I've got a little bit of a rinseless wash on my rag, so nothing super abrasive. Um, and, and we can kind of look at the results from there. And, and usually what that's gonna get me is clean and kind of a matte finish, right? Not bad, not bad. But especially on work trucks, let me show you what Stoner Trim Shine can do for you. Yes, Stoner Trim Shine can be used interior and exterior. Its usages are gonna blow your mind. Um, but I learned recently a conversation without, no, a demonstration without a presentation is just a conversation. All right, let's try that one more time. A presentation without a demonstration is just a conversation. Even though it sounds very salesy. So you gotta see it, I think is what it means to convince anybody of anything. So let's just spray that down, just like that. And then all I'm gonna do is simply do a nice matte wipe down. I mean, I didn't, I didn't get rid of all the scuffs, but just as far as appearance goes, Look at that. That's one of just about a million usages. Uh, how about we try right here? A little kick plate, whatever you want to call that. I've got a little bit of stoner trim shine on that towel, but that already looks pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. But if you're trying to touch up a vehicle, especially an older truck, just give that a spritz. And I mean, you definitely want to wipe this down. You know, you want to give it kind of a matte finish but I haven't even cleaned this, you guys. This is my raw truck. Um, look how nice <clears throat> that can look now. And you're seeing this all on a non-clean truck, so I love it. Another area where you can use stoner trim shine, and the list goes on and on. Let's say you're just not super happy with little air vents. See how dark those got? Sometimes it looks too much to me, even when you like wipe it down. Because the cool thing about Stoner Trim Shine is it'll last, because this will last on your exterior. Not forever, <clears throat> but on exterior trim. So imagine on interior trim what that does. Look at that finish. In the sunshine, can you see that? You just gotta make sure you wipe it down because this will be there. <laughs> like you'll detail this in a few months or something and you'll be like, wow, those air vents are like super black and rich. Stoner trim shine, I'm telling you. Right in here. I'm telling you guys, uh, where's my where's my trim shine? Where did it go? I think it's hiding on me. There you are, buddy. <clears throat> All right. Another area this can work extremely well, and I'm sorry for all the crumbs. This area right here. And then you wanna turn the vehicle on, you wanna pull this back, and then you wanna make sure you get all the areas that are covered right now. I learned that trick from Scott at Dallas Paint Correction. Such a nice idea. So you could also hit all of the, uh, all the vents here, and uh, just little black areas like that, and it'll make it look so rich and new. So after spraying that down, I mean, you can see how nice it looks. I haven't even cleaned this area, but just, you can see what stoner trim shine can do. I call it like if you're trying to resuscitate the plastics, you know, if you're really like fighting against age, this is a fairly new uh, Tundra. And so, I mean, but it does look nice. I mean, you could use stoner trim shine on the interior. As far as that goes, you know, I could even do right here if I wanted to, you know? You're just kind of painting at that point. You just want to make sure you're blending everything. So on like a super faded dashboard, um, I may use Stoner Trim Shine. It's not usually my first choice, but it's just nice to know 
that there are options in your arsenal. How about these steps here? Well, I haven't even cleaned them. I haven't protected them at all. They're rusting a little bit, but let's say I just want it to look good in the moment, right? Or I want it to look good for my customer because I just want my customer to feel really good about their vehicle. You know, I'd wipe this down, but all of a sudden, anything that's black on the exterior, you know, it's at least worth a test spot to see, you know, what can be done. I'd wipe that down, like I said. <coughs> just, sorry for the shaky camera work here, guys. I'd wipe that down, but look how nice that looks. Even if it's just temporary, underneath, remember what it looked like before? And now look at it. So you can just see what kind of miracles can be done. We're not done, you guys. Stoner trim shine is still something I'm gonna use. It's crazy. How about after I clean the wheel wells? Well, I just wanna make sure they look dialed in from five, 10 feet away. Here we go. So is this as good as solution finish at permanently dying or restoring trim? No. If I do a vehicle every two weeks, there's a chance that's already gone away on a Tesla that I do every two weeks. So I'm just saying, in the real world, where you just want something to look good in the moment, consider Sonar Trim Shine. I'm not even done, you guys. I'm not done. See this plastic here? I mean, I haven't washed it, right? Need to get some bug guts and stuff off, but look at that. We'll just do that side of the <clears throat> of the plastic, and I'll just wipe it down. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see in the light there, but there's a considerable difference just right around here. The richness of the plastic there, again, not even clean this versus there. You see that difference? So that's rich applied evenly, kind of fades there at the end, so don't judge that section. But you can see the difference in darkness. So Sonar Trim Shine, it is not perfect. Like uh, Solution Finish, Chris West makes an amazing product. If you wanna do permanent restoration of trim, plastics, whatever. But you guys, if you're detailing, I would just buy these in bulk because they're not cheap, right? That's the bummer part about Sonar Trim Shine. They're like five bucks a bottle. And I can easily go through a bottle of this in a couple of details if I need to. So just a heads up. Do you guys use this product? What do you think? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, what, what should I know about this product that I haven't already said? Let's start a conversation. If you guys have a better product, let me know. But still no trim shine so far in my detailing career has definitely served me well.